Hello everyone, welcome. In today's episode we're going to be looking at um, another Figma from Fate Day Night and it is Rin Tosaka. So as you can probably see, here's Rin. And she has the same box design as all of the other Fate Day Night Figmas and she has the same uh, stigmata that is on Shiro Emiya's hand. As you can see. Really cool. Let's actually take a look at Rin Tosaka in today's episode. On Fate Day Night. Open up your heart and tell me you love me. We will be together again with you. Just look into your dreams, there you'll find me. Dear Emily, dear Emily. I hope we will be together in this one world. Welcome to Cute Anime Figure Show. I'm your host, Craig, and in today's episode, we're looking at uh, Rin Tosaka. So yes, um, this is Rin uh, from Face Day and Night. She is um, a Marcus, I guess. Um, I have watched Face Day and Night. Um, her servant is Archer. Uh, it'd be nice to get Archer in this Figma series. So here's Rin, really nice packaging design and stuff. I'll show this off in the video review. She is number 011 in the series. And yeah, again, she's another one of the older Figmas. Um, so let's actually have a look at Rin Tosaka on Fate Stay Night. Let's have a look at her in our video review. Let's have a look at Rin. So here we are with um, Fakuma Rin Tosaka from Fate Day Night, and this is the casual version. So as you can probably tell, uh, Rin comes in the same standard uh, Fakuma box, just like the other um, Fakuma Fate Day Night figures. And on the front of the case, she got the stigmata that is on Shiro Emiya's hand, um, the same symbol design. She is number um, 011 in the series. As you can probably see, there's a holographic sticker here. It says Max Factory here. Uh, you got a nice uh, Figma logo down here, and it used to be up here on the case on some of the older ones. Um, you can probably see here. Got Figma got Rin at the top there, and also underneath, it's just the same. Also, side, it's actually in a red. Um, sure, it was orange and then it was blue for Saber. You can probably tell it's in red. Got the same kind of sword effect thing going on in the background there. Nice um, picture of Rin. Also, the Fate Day Night logo there, Max Factory and Gus Mar Company. Uh, got some nice photos of Rin in different poses. So let's actually get Rin opened up and let's have a look at the accessories and stuff. Uh, what she comes with. So I previously reviewed Saber and Shiro Emiya. So yet again, I've never owned Rin. Um, there is a Fallen uh, Rebel Tech version of Rin, which I don't own. I would love to have. That would be nice to add to my Rebel Tech. Uh, series yeah, collection, but anyway, bring back to Rin. So this is the Figma version of her. Um, I don't know what to expect here because there's always something different in these figures. Okay. And some of these ones don't come with the DI stage because some of these are the older ones. So here's a picture of Rin inside the 
box. Glad to see there. Um, there's no instructions in here. Um, and usually in the box there is. Well, there is on from there. But um, usually there'll be a DI stage punch out in the back of the drawer. Um, so here's Rin in the packaging. Um, I'm a big fan of Rin, by the way. Um, even though this is my first time owning an action figure of her. She looks fantastic in the plastic tray there. I'll show off how to switch out the arm. Uh, she may not come with very many accessories. As you can probably see there in the back. It's pretty cool. Now let's actually get this opened up. Let's open this tray here. Like you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. Usually I would think uh, just jumps out of the packaging and try to remove the top layer of the tray. Okay, um, going off again, like I always do, is show off the Figma Ziploc bag. This is something that you always get with the Figma series, which is good, so you can put all the uh, Figma accessories in here, the ones that you're not going to be using for the moment. Uh, you can always write the name of the character there, Rin Tosaka, casual version. Really good, you can also hang it up as well. So that was the Figma bag, just getting another point over there. Included is um, a Figma base and some hands. Also, I'll show off this here. Um, there's a thing here for the arm, um, showing that you can switch out the arm. This works out the same way as Shiru Emya's arm, I suppose it does. Uh, what's nice, they included some instructions, so I'll leave that to the side there. Um, I'll just remove this stand over here. And then put that over there, the Figma base. And the different interchangeable hands. Got some pointy hands and stuff. Um, that pointy hand will be really nice because she actually does um, point and she's trying to fire. Um, I forgot the name of the type of move she does, the spell. Um, so anyway, bring on to the Figma 3 joint to stand. Uh, make sure it works. There we go. Kind of have a little play with this. The other two previous uh, Face Day Night Figmas I reviewed recently, uh, Saber and Shiru, um, their stands were fine, but when you actually get them into the back of the figure, it kind of felt like they were um, a bit stiff um, to try and get them in the back, in the you know, in the back. Um, I'm just gonna plug the stand in here. Which that one goes in really well and it's actually loose there and it's really tight on some of the other figmas. Which that's always good. Um if it's you know anyway, bring on to the other accessories. I'll show them off here. Um she doesn't come with very many. Um comes with an interchangeable arm here and something some specialty hands as well as the regular Figma hands. She comes with one facial expression, the one that's actually on the figure, so and the other one. It's two. She only comes with one interchangeable one. Also let's remove Rin as well. And they're all kind of uh, show accurate so all of the Figmas from the Fate Stay Night series, they're all show sure. So it's just that I'm removing this layer of plastic from her. Put it down there and we'll get a good look at it. She's 
She's actually one of my favourites, so one of my favourite girls on the Face Day Night series, besides Saver. Okay, here's Rin, Rin Tersaka. And wow, she is beautiful. She has a beautiful sculpt in her face there. Just really beautiful. I love the outfit. Um, her skirt is soft PVC. And I think it's in two parts or three layers. We were wrong. Yep, it's in two layers. So. Just saying the no noise in the background there. I don't think her ponytails and joints are there. They're actually on metal joints. Yep, they are. They're just a little bit stiff. Um, So kind of just watch out for that, they're kind of stiff. You can actually move these as well. And she has articulation here in the arms. She kind of has this this soft uh, PVC here, it's kind of similar how it works out to Shiro. Uh, it's kind of hard here in the torso section here. She's got like a cross there. She's got detail on the outfit as well, with the buttons there. A swivel in the hand, and it goes back and forwards. It's the same for the arm as well. Legs go out about that far because of the skirt. Uh, she has the soft PVC uh, Underwear as uh, some of the school uniform figmas girls. She has a um, double joint there, in the knee, which is usually for these figmas. She also come, has the shoes here. Really nice, kind of go like that. Um, really nice. She's kind of like wearing stockings. These really high socks here. Um, can I bring that up there? Okay. She's got long hair, and as you can probably tell with the stand that pegs in here, and as you can probably see, it's kind of got the same thing going on uh, like it did with Shiru Emya. Um, just kind of a little bit tight up in that top part. Okay, let's actually put Rin down and get to have a look at some of the accessories she comes with. And yet again, she stands up perfect without the display stand. Okay, I'll look at the uh, accessories here. As you can see, here's a angry face. Trying to show off this. There you go. So I'll show off this arm as well. So here's the other arm. And I don't know if you can actually see this. She actually has the um like a network of lines going on there. She's using a spell that she uses. It's really hard to see. Um, but, it, but it's there. So, you can actually turn it around as well. So it's just another hand. Okay, bringing on to the weapons, here's the dagger that Rin uses. Oh, Shiro. 
There you go, got a little nice looking thing. These can be very sharp. Um, looks really nice, got a little red gem there. I apologize for the um, focus in on the camera here. Okay, here's the um, the other dagger. I forgot what his name is, but it's got like a crystal looking effect part there, already molded to the dagger. Really nice. Love the beautiful detail here. That's really crystallized going on. Now she comes with two other hands. Um, here's one of them. And I don't know if you can actually see this. Um, it's got like some gems there. Like she's going to throw some gems. She uses these in uh, in battle. So when she battles a berserker, that's so how she can use those gems. Really cool. And also she does include another hand as well. So here's the other hand. There we go. Just like that. And she also has the same um, little ball at the end of the joint here. Usually this is thin on some of the newer fake moods. So Okay, here's the other hands, the tray. Um, you can actually use this other hand here, so she's going to be pointing. Um, you can kind of have her with a pointing hand. Let's kind of have that going on here. These other hands are like holding the daggers. Um, so actually have her with the other facial expression. So to actually pull off the other facial expression, um, you remove the hair piece here. It's actually small. You can probably tell it's really small. But let's actually pull that off. Oop, that one came off really easily. Um, not like Saber, she, her uh, facial expressions were really tough to uh, get on and Rin's uh, is really easy, so is Shears. Um, so now to pull off the other hand. There we go. Just pulls off there and put the one on. Kind of move these hair things out of the way. Don't want to move it too much, just in case it might break. But uh, now, actually, I can just hand it into here. Sometimes these hands are quite loose when they're actually in there. Oh, that's really stiff going on in there. Okay, I've got a hand in. So you can kind of have a pointing she's trying to uh, kill uh, Shiru can I point in there can I get a pointing thing going on now, I wish there was some effect parts included where like a little ball at the end there just slips onto her finger so it looks like she's shooting. 
Right, there's a little bubble effect parts. Um, like some blasts, that would have been nice. Um, but you can actually get her to um, start firing. Um, so that's pretty good. that to switch out the hand again and just pull it and uh, to put the other one on these gems in her hands do the same okay, it feels really tough ah that's really pegged in there really well. Switch out the arm. Kind of move the head out of the road. So I can actually grab the hand. So let's actually plug these in. Like so. So she's actually got these little gems in her hands, as you can probably tell. Well, let's see, she's got those gems in her hands, so she can actually throw them. And stuff. Kind of get a really cool pose with her, with them gems in her hand. That looks really cool, with her facial expression there. Them. So, okay, let's actually replace the arm um, to this uh, this open palm. So, to actually get that to work, uh, we're going to remove the hands again. So, I think I'll have one of the regular. And the regular ones, and these standard fists. So, yeah, again, just remove the hands, like so. Um, kind of feels tough to actually uh, pull them in and out because the little ball joint is uh, quite stiff. Um, yeah, actually, take these hands in here, just like so. That snapped in really well. It's really if only that some of these hands do actually snap in really well, and some of them don't. Um, so. Now I'm actually going to put one of these old hands on here. Um, so let's put this one on. So I'll show you this as well. Then I'll put the old arm on there. Okay, this is kind of like a spell hand, kind of, going on here, like a little spell hand, there you go, it's supposed to be like that. Alright, before we put the swords in our hands and all this stuff, I'm actually going to show it off this other arm here with the magic circuits that's what it was um, now to do that all you have to do is remove the arm yes remove the arm um, so go 
I remove the Figma joint. Excuse me for a few minutes. Okay, that was really tight. Um, so, shall I get this joint in here? So we just replaced the hand how it was. Um, this was a little tough to pull out after the other arm. Uh, you end up pulling the entire arm straight off um, without the joint. Um, to actually put, plug it back in, I can just plug that back into there, like so. Um, That's it, the OR kind of plucked it in the wrong way around here. And it wants to go this way. Like that. So, okay. Things correct here. And now uh, some of these joints are really funny. Um, so as you can probably see, she has her arm sleeve um, kind of lifted down. So she can actually use this um, attack here, and there's the magic circuits again. You can't hardly see it because um, it's within the skin tone there. Kind of just looks like a blue um, tattoo or something. And that, um, well, as you can probably tell, she kind of has her arm like sleeve rolled down. Uh, given the illusion there, like she's rolled up her sleeves. Um, you can actually tw turn the hand just like that. So you can actually have her hold her arm outwards like that. Um, as you can probably see. Um, I'll kind of show off with the other facial expression here. So actually turn this forearm upwards like that. But I'll switch out the other facial expression. So I'll switch out that. Then I'll put the swords in the hands and then we'll uh, 
Oh, with the my final thoughts, and there'll be a display video as well. So here's Rin with the uh, normal facial expression, as you can probably tell. And it's just kind of got the sleeve um, rolled down, it actually rolled up there. Looks really good. Um, you can actually have a like that if you wish to. Um, so it's pretty cool. Okay, now switching the forearm back again to the regular uh, arm all you have to do is just do the same thing is just uh, remove it um, obviously it's going to remove the peg joint again um, oops no actually came off this time uh, the peg joint actually is the, like that um, that's how you're supposed to have pulled it off with that still attached to the arm and I had to take the entire thing off um, but all you do is just replace it again uh, with a regular one this one so this kinda goes back where it was at the begin just like that pretty easy pretty simple kind of have around down there she's kind of got these flap things for her shoulders because she can actually bring them down I think here um, so. I know sometimes she can probably catch the skirt here um, so yeah really cool uh, Figma of Rin Let's actually have her um, with the um, the other sword in her hand, um, where she's using this one. So she's got this hand in on here, and she's got the other facial expression, the other one. So we we'll switch the facial expression again. I know. Um, and this as often. Usually I don't do it. Um, I just put on the one I think is the best. Um, watch out for these ponytails because these are quite fragile. Um, so watch out for those. Uh, and again we'll switch out the hand. And uh, Okay so like I explained before with the um, sword part um, for weapons in general never attach them um, after you've plugged the hand in because that uh, could end up breaking the sword or whatever weapon they're wielding always attach um, the sword to the hand first then um, attach the hand with the sword in it to the figure so this kind of goes in there really well like so kind of goes in like that it's cool and now we'll uh, put that in her in there kind of is that in there really well? yep in. Okay. I didn't hear it uh, pop in but it's in there so here's the weapon in her hand really cool love the effects on that 
on there, so she kind of can get it to um, probably jump in midair, kind of doing this type of pose. Like this, kind of like going to uh, stab it right into someone. Kind of like that. That. Looks like she's trying to drop it. Looks pretty cool, um, indeed. Um, so, to actually switch out the other facial expression. Um, Actually, have the other regular one, which is holding the dagger. So let's switch out her facial expression. Then we'll put her on a display stand in, in a bit. So just to switch that out once more. I know it's kind of a pain in the butt switching these facial expressions in and out. Well, it's pretty easy with Rin um, than some of the others. Now, um, just remove the dagger from the other one and then hold the hand while you put the other dagger in it. Or, um, in fact, here's a good idea. Remove the hand first, and then put the dagger in the hand. And you can probably hear that it's uh, kind of stiff. Try and get that in there. But once you get it on there, just kind of work it way there. Kind of got a squeaking going on. This is the type of thing I had with Kagomi's uh, bow. Had a bit of squeaking going on. I'll get it to go there. Kinda of feels uh, tight. Getting the dagger in her hand. Okay, that's so as probably as far as I can probably get it. Um, and then she has that other hand on that we've already got. So, yeah, again, let's replace this hand. This one back on again. Okay, there we go. Like I mentioned before, it kind of felt really stiff to actually get that uh, dagger in a hand. The other one was much easier. Um, I bring an arm around here. Okay, so here's the other dagger that she has in her hand. It's pretty cool. They can probably have her holding it by her side if you wish to, like that. You could have her uh, like that, doing kind of like a spell or something. Looks pretty cool. So let's actually get her on the stand. 
Um, just going to put all these weapons away in hands. If you give me a minute. Um, it's really nice of them to include this sort of dagger-looking thing where I affect part. And that, uh, just excuse me for a moment to put all these hands on this tray. Kind of a pain in the butt. Trying to put it on. said before it's kind of like a pain in the butt trying to put them on here come on there we go oh, that was my shoulder anyway by the way kind of right there Okay, okay, we'll do it there. Anyway, um, I'm going to put her on the stand um, in a bit and I'll go over my final thoughts for the figure. So here I am with my final thoughts for Rain Tosaka from the Fate Stay Night Figma series. So, um, now I'm actually going to put her on a display stand, so let's actually do that. Um, previously I was having a look at her and stuff like that, so we're still continuing. Um, now how do you actually peg the stand in? Um, I'm actually going to try that now. So, um, i move her hair out of the way here. It's on the ball joint there. Um, can I move it out of the road? Mm. This is kind of difficult trying to get this in here. If you give me a few minutes, I'll actually peg her on the stand. Mm. What nervous actually picking stands in. Still kind of feels uh, a little bit stiff um, when you're actually picking her in on the stand. Stand up currently. So, yeah, actually trying to get the stand in and her like that. Um, it's kind of tough to actually have the hair down. Um, can kind of have a facing downwards but kind of show this off. You probably see can't get the hair to actually go down. Um, there's a way of doing it I think. 
Um, well, it's just kind of having that facial expression that way. I stand up. That. She's tall. There we go. Can I get it down like that? That's, mu that's much better. Can I bring it? Like that. Up a bit. can actually get these pieces to like go down here side or head okay so she kind of got her hair like flowing um, I suppose like so can I kind of have it like, like that oh. okay there you go so there she is on the her display stand, kind of have her sword down, kind of move that shoulder up there like that. So let's actually put it on here. Um, it doesn't take very long to get a stand in there, but just uh, yet again the same thing with shooter. I mean, you have to be very careful when you're plugging the stand in. It kind of feels like it's quite stiff. Um, so, can I zoom out there? Sorry about that. Um, here she is. I can actually turn around there. Get a good look at her. Really cool. On the back. So that's Rin, um, Tarasaka. So, to end this review off, with final thoughts, um, which I am going to do now. Okay, uh, Rin Tosaka is a fantastic figma. Um, so it, I felt it was kind of stiff trying to get the display stand in her back. It's the same thing I felt with uh, Shira Emya, but um, there is an indentation which you can heat it up. Um, so you can actually get the stand to work, go work really well in there. Um, like it explains in the Shiro Emu. Um, well, the thing with Shiro, actually. But, overall, um, Shield's fantastic. Um, I can probably say that I would like to see a um, school uniform version of her, but this is the casual version. Um, I'm really happy to actually get um, a figma of Rin. Uh, she's definitely one of my favorite characters. Um, I would love to see a Archer figma so I can actually display it with Rin. Um, but overall, she's great. Switching out the arm can be a little tricky. But once you've actually got the other arm on there, it'll work really fine. Um, pegging in the hands, um, I think it was quite stiff to try and get the second sword, uh, not the sword, um, dagger in her hand. Um, kind of squeaked there in, the, in this review. Um, the gems that are in her hands are really well sculpted. Uh, she looks really so accurate. Um, so overall, a great figure. Definitely want to add to your Fate Stay Night Figma collection. And overall, she'll look really great with uh, Sheer Amya, Saber, and all the other Fate Stay Night uh, Figmas and Fate Zero as well. Until next time, everybody. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Arigato and sayonara. Until next time. Okay, here we have Rin Tosaka on display uh, from Fate Stay Night, which is from the Figma series. And she is also on display with Shiro Emiya and Saber. Also, some other Saber variations. Just gonna open up.
open the doors here so you can get a good look. So here's um, Rin. She looks fantastic on display, I should say. Along with Saber, Shiru. Uh, so this is my Fate Stay Night uh, collection um, and Fate Zero. Looking pretty good. Uh, along with some of the figmas here, Loom, Kagomi, and Link. Definitely recommend uh, Rin. Um, let's hope that we'll see an Archer Figma in this series, and also a Berserker, that'll be pretty nice. And a Lancer. And some other characters from Fate Day Night. Um, overall, just a wonderful uh, figure. I definitely recommend picking her up. Until next time everybody, thanks for watching and Arigato Sayonara. Take care. Until next time.